Okay, this is Minecraft, but there are custom elytra. Today, I made it so that you can craft custom elytra wings with built-in weapons and passive abilities. An example is the TNT elytra, which lets you launch yourself with explosions and rain TNT while you fly. Pretty crazy, right? Can I collect all 10 elytra and use their crazy abilities to beat Minecraft? Watch till the end to find out. And guys, we're coming up on 1 million subscribers, and according to YouTube, if everyone who isn't subscribed did it right now, then we would be at 9 million subscribers, and that would be pretty good. So you should definitely subscribe if you haven't already, it's completely free and you can always change your mind later. Lastly, drop a like for the YouTube algorithm, and without any more delay, let's go. Okay, so right in front of my spawn, there is a huge pillage outpost, and I can see an iron golem box. This is probably a bad idea, but I'm just gonna try and loot this, because like, these can have amazing chests. Also, if I can break out the iron golem, then I could use it. Oh my, this chest. Dark oak logs, five iron, wheat, string, and a crossbow, and two potatoes as well. Okay, iron axe, and then I'm also gonna make a wooden pickaxe as well, just so I can like, break some stone later. This is such a chaotic start, dude. Okay, and then we're also gonna make ladders, so I can jump down without taking full damage, and we're also going to break this iron golem out. Okay, ladders at the ready. Okay, we're just gonna bridge over here because you can't place ladders on trees. Actually, this is a better idea. We're gonna do a tactical boat into the box. Okay, and now the final step to take over this pillager tower is to use the iron golem as a meat shield and release him. Okay, and now we gotta run. Oh my, that's a lot of pillagers. Okay, this is not going to plan. All right, I'm just gonna leave the golem. I don't even care. I do not want to be here anymore. There is literally an arrow in my head. Anyway, I have a kind of weird plan today because I can actually craft elytras in this video. The recipe is four feathers and one phantom membrane, and there's literally chickens right here, which is perfect. But obviously the hard item to get is going to be the phantom membrane, so basically my plan for that is just to wait till nighttime. I waited till the third Minecraft day to start this recording, so they should just spawn straight away, but I do know that they're quite rare. And also kind of annoying to fight too, so uh, that's going to be interesting. Yeah, we have a village right here, and I also have seven iron in total, which is quite good because I think this is enough for a shield and a bucket. Yeah, okay, shield and also bucket. We don't have a flint and steel, but I will still take it. Is there any way to get food, though? That is the question. I see a ruined portal. I mean, this could have food, to be fair, but I doubt it. Oh my, dude, this sounds staged, bruh. I literally have eight golden carrots and a golden apple and a flint and steel, which is like all of the things that I need. Look at these tools as well. Efficiency three, fortune three, efficiency three. That's also two gold blocks. So we're just gonna grab this one and this one. Okay, yeah, as you can see on screen, the custom elytra recipes are really simple. It's just one elytra surrounded with the corresponding material. So like a TNT elytra uses TNT, a diamond elytra uses diamonds. Oh wait, there's actually a desert here. I could even try and find like a desert temple so I can make a TNT elytra first. I just know that all of the elytras are absolutely crazy, so I don't even know which one I want to get first. No way, dude. That is actually perfect. I see a temple right in front of me, which means I'll have enough TNT to make a TNT elytra, but also I could get like diamonds from this or even string as well. I could use string for the spider elytra, so this could be quite good. Let's just go ahead and jump down, and we have already some string, 10 in total. Okay, perfect. A bunch of iron, and emeralds, and a saddle. Holy dude. Anything in this one, we have another gapple, and just even more string. A multi-shot enchanted book. Wait, if I get an anvil later, then I could put that on my crossbow, which will be amazing. And then finally, we have some more gold. Oh wait, gunpowder as well. Is there any that I left? Dude, I almost missed this. Yeah, with gunpowder, I can make firework rockets, and just travel around the map really quickly, so that's gonna be amazing. Dude, are you kidding? There's already phantoms here. Okay, three phantoms. This is actually insane. I mean, I did slightly up the spawn rates, but three phantoms this quickly is actually crazy. Okay, and I got one phantom membrane from all of those three. Okay, that's fine with me, to be honest. Okay, well, we have our full feathers, and we also have the phantom membranes, so we can just go ahead and craft ourselves one plain elytra, okay? It's funny how this is just considered plain. Like, it's already just a crazy item. Okay, so these are my options right now. First of all, we have the TNT Elytra, and the first ability is TNT Jump, and the second is Bomb. That sounds pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, what about the Spider one? Spider gives me Wall Climb and Web Cannon. What about the Gold one? Gold is Golden Item and Lucky Radar. I'll probably get that when I go to the Nether or something, because, like, Golden Items are good for going to the Bastions and stuff. I think the first one we're gonna go for is the TNT Elytra. Okay, let's equip this thing. Look at this. Oh my- What was that? Oh yeah, I just remembered. The way I activate these different abilities is either by shifting while on the ground or shifting in midair. So I'm guessing this is an ability. TNT jump. Wait, what happens if I... Oh my... Dude, I'm in the air. I am literally in the air. This is so OP. And then what happens if I shift while flying? Dude, it just dropped TNT. 
That is actually crazy. Okay, yeah, I am definitely glad that I made this one. Look at all of this TNT, dude. And it gives me two armor bars as well. That is actually perfect. Okay, and we're also gonna start killing these chickens. I hear another phantom. Dude, I don't know how any Elytra is gonna top this. This is actually the coolest thing ever. Oh, I got another phantom membrane. Let's go. Come on. Okay, only one more. Let's just travel through this desert. Dude, I love this TNT jump so much. Yes, dude, even more phantoms. Okay, it's just about to turn daytime too, so that's like perfect timing. Oh, dude, two more phantom membrane. That is actually perfect. Okay, so I have four feathers and three phantom membrane after that night, so we can make three more elytras. One of the elytras that I definitely want to make right now is the iron elytra, and there's a massive... Oh, there's a shipwreck right here. Yeah, I was going to say that I can just explore this ocean and TNT jump around to, like, find a shipwreck, but we found one already, so... Oh, no, I dropped TNT. Oh, no, 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 we got to get in. Okay, anything good in here? We have more gold, some emeralds, lapis. Dude, that is actually perfect. There is also a lapis elytra that is apparently very very op dude literally look how fast i can travel right now it's so dangerous to do this on land but like because i'm in the ocean it just doesn't even matter okay we're just gonna kill these chickens that i found and then i will craft all of the different types of elytras that i can okay let's just do one right now so if we place this here and then let's try gold so golden gets go here and now we have a gold elytra this actually looks majestic dude this is so cool ability one golden item ability two lucky radar okay does anything happen village located 389 blocks away more chickens as well so i can probably craft another one right now should i craft the spider maybe feathers go like this phantom membrane here we have an elytra and then if i surround it with this we now have iron elytra extra health and falling anvil okay that looks quite fun i'm not gonna lie wait what about the spider one wall climb actually no we're gonna do this one because this one looks like really cool yo look at this texture holy wait it shot out a cobweb is that my ability i can just throw cobwebs at mobs i mean that that could be useful, I guess. I don't even know, dude. Oh, wait, what? I'm climbing a wall. I literally have spider hacks right now. This is actually crazy. Oh, and I found the village that the gold elytra was pointing me to. And for fast travel, we're going to put on the TNT elytra. And just, oh no, holy dude, I almost just hit the ground. But yeah, I found a village. And I think I saw a blacksmith as well. So we could maybe get, like, diamonds. I'm probably going to have to go caving to actually get enough diamonds for the diamond elytra. Because, like, eight is quite a lot. But hopefully we get lucky here. Um, more iron, an iron pickaxe, and diamond horse armor. I will take it. Oh, dude, I just had the best idea. So with this gold elytra, I could probably use it to like locate nether structures. So the next thing I should probably do is like go nether and then find a fortress and make the blaze elytra because I know that one is insane. It just gives me gold armor pieces. Hold up. This is actually insane. Gold helmet, gold boots. Can I get leggings as well? Let's see. Gold chest plate, golden apple, a bell. Dude, what is this? Okay, but he's got a spam shift. Drop as many gold items as possible. I see raw gold. Raw gold block. Okay, I will definitely take that. Gold block. Okay, perfect. We have 20 seven gold in total and like a bunch of raw gold as well okay well when i go to a bastion we're pretty much gonna have infinite gold to trade with piglins so like this elytra is definitely quite overpowered all right so i think my plan right now is to go to the nether so we're just gonna fly around with our tnt elytra until i can see a lava pool oh wait i can make like huge tunnels with all of this tnt dude this is actually insane this is definitely my favorite one so far but i don't know the dragon elytra seems pretty cool as well not gonna lie so the elytras that i still haven't made are the blaze elytra the iron elytra the lapis elytra, the dragon elytra, and the diamond elytra. So we're halfway through collecting the entire set. So that means that I need five more phantom membranes. So hopefully I can get at least like three in this nighttime. 18 feathers right now. That is actually perfect. And I hear a phantom. Holy, it's literally right here. Do I have anything that can assist me with killing the phantom? That is the question. I mean, I could use the TNT elytra. What if I trap the phantom in a cold web? Come here, phantom. Oh, dude, so close. And yes, phantom membrane. Okay, that's enough for another elytra. There's too many mobs here. We're just gonna fly away with our TNT elytra. Let's go. Oh no, I hear more. Okay, I got an iron ingot from that zombie. What the? I'm so lucky that the elytras have armor bars because like it's just protecting me so much against these uh swarms of phantoms okay all right we have four phantom membrane in total so once i get like five i think we'll have enough for the entire rest of the video so let's just craft two elytras right now and turn one of them into an iron elytra so this one has a bunch of armor bars plus five armor and the tnt only has plus four spider only has plus two so the iron elytra is like the tanky one i think so what happens when i fly Oh, dude, it drops an anvil. I know exactly what I want to do right now. Multi-shot, where is the book? Yes, multi-shot crossbow. There we go. Wait, dude, I can drop anvils on mobs. That is going to be the most epic thing. Okay, get ready for the best play ever. So we're going to use the TNT elytra to jump into the air, switch to the iron elytra, and then rain anvils on these creepers, and I will get a kill. 
Oh, dude, I actually got one. Let's go. That is actually the best thing that's ever happened in one of my videos. Holy. What happens if I do it while standing still? Dude, I'm gaining hearts. What is this? Mini health boost four and haste. Oh my, I almost died. Also, sugarcane here, so I can actually get some, like, fireworks, which is really good. Um, let's just use the TNT elytra and go away. There we go. We are up in the clouds in, like, one second, and I also see a lava pool, so we can go ahead and enter nether now, I think. Okay, now we just gotta make a portal really quickly, so let's just go ahead and place some lava buckets like this. And there we go. That should be enough for me to just light my nether portal, and we can go through. Oh, and dude, there's a fortress right here, which is perfect. I still wanna test if the gold elytra actually works, so let's just go ahead and shift with this. Yeah, fortress located 77 blocks away. Now, which elytra seems like the best for the fortress? I mean, the iron elytra seems kind of good, because I can just do this, and then gain a bunch of health. Holy dude, how high does this go? Oh, it stops at three rows of hearts. Mini health boost, and I only get it for one minute, okay. But still, this is really good, and there's also a blaze spawner literally right here, so if I can just collect, I think, four blaze rods, then I can craft the blaze elytra, which definitely seems good, so let's just, like, go ahead and, uh, hopefully not die. Holy dude, we're definitely quite tanky with this elytra, so I'm not gonna complain. Come on, dude, one more blaze rod. There we go. Four blaze rods in total. That is actually perfect. Now he's gotta put the elytra in the middle and surround it with blaze powder, and there we go. Blaze elytra. Ability one, lava walker. Ability two, fire charge. Okay, this seems kind of cool, I guess. How much armor does it have? Plus two. Okay, this one isn't very strong, but the ability might be quite good. What is the... Oh my, dude, I am literally ablaze. I wonder what Lava Walker does. Also, I need to actually get seven blaze rods to actually, like, beat the game. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna come back after I've been to the Bastion, because fighting blazes without fire resistance is just gonna drain all of my food. Wait, actually, I'll test the Lava Walker ability, because that could be quite cool. Okay, it's time to walk near La- Oh my, dude, look how cool this is. I am literally turning lava into basalt. Okay, so the gold elytra has located a fortress, which is like over there. That's the one that I was just at. Oh no, ghost, ghost, ghost. Oh my, dude, that was way too close. Yes, I finally located a bastion. Okay, 240 blocks away and it's getting lower if I run this way. So if I just keep running in the same direction, we should eventually find a bastion. And also I'm gonna make a new iron axe since mine is so broken. Okay, it's 140 blocks away now. So if I just switch to the TNT elytra and like, like, launch myself over here and then keep flying. It should be around here somewhere. Dude, this is not a bastion. This is a fortress. What is this? Oh, dude, it's actually right next to a fortress. That is perfect. Okay, so I can just TNT jump all the way up here. I don't know how I didn't die from that. Okay, let's do it again. Oh, okay, I hit my head, but somehow we didn't take damage, so we're chilling. Anything good in this chest? We have a multi-shot crossbow, which I already have, but I will definitely take a second one. Gold block, which is good, and an iron block as well, which is definitely good. This is a bridge bastion as well, so there's going to be a bunch of gold blocks, like, at the front. All my piglin brutes. Holy. Okay, we're just gonna juke them out. We're gonna fly back down. And I'm gonna just- Oh my- No, 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 I'm fl- I'm literally- I'm fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's completely fine. Okay, here's the plan. We spam our iron elytra all the way to three rows of hearts. Then I use the TNT elytra to get all the way up here. And then we equip the spider elytra and trap all of the piglin brutes in cobwebs so they can't get me. All right. Okay, the piglins aren't that angry anymore, so we're just gonna hopefully- this time actually get the loot okay all right done chest looted now it's gonna fly over here and we're gonna get the gold blocks and i'm actually gonna find a different bastion to trade in since we can just travel around so quickly that like i might as well just look for like a treasure bastion or a housing bastion which has way more piglins so bastion located 99 blocks away okay it should just oh yeah i see it let's just tnt jump over oh my i almost hit my head again i am coming so close to dying right now it's actually insane oh wait the blaze elytra dude i completely forgot about this thing i can just shoot fireballs at the piglin brutes this is actually amazing. Why didn't I use that in the last Bastion? This is actually so good. And they don't even aggro me because like they can't even tell that it's from me. Oh no, they can. They definitely can. Die, 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 die. Yo, I already killed a piglin brute. Dude, this is OP. All right, let's loot this chest. I think this might be a housing Bastion. I put all my gold blocks in the chest. They're literally all in there. Okay, piglin, goodbye. Dude, this is so fun. All right, just shoot all of these guys with fireballs. Die, 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 die. Oh my, this is actually so good. Okay, and we've cleared out all of the piglin brutes at the top. Let's take our gold blocks back. So some more iron ingots, and then soul speed, golden carrots I'll take. More golden carrots, and then in this one, we have more golden carrots. Okay, we have 44 in total. Now we're just gonna do what is called a manhunt strat. So basically, stack up on hearts with the iron elytra, and then, if I just get my shield ready, I can probably just run straight past this piglin brute. And what I wanna do is aggro all of the different piglins onto me, and get them to chase me down here. Wait, none of them are aggro. What is going on? Is this like a 1.17 thing? Yes, piglins, into the pits. Let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna toss in 
then four stacks of gold so they have like infinite trades and then if we dig through this wall there should be a chest as well so i can grab even more golden carrots holy oh obsidian i will take that we have enough to build a new nether portal now so that's good and while they trade i think i'm gonna make another elytra so let's just go ahead and make ourselves this and then surround it with lapis and make ourselves a lapis elytra ability one random enchant ability two infinity orb wait random enchant dude am i gonna be able to enchant all of my items what is this i have to do it while flying apparently wait dude my axe is enchanted what is this sharpness one protection one on an axe okay if i just do it even more what is this sharp one pro one multi shot depth strike huh okay i'm just gonna spam shift what do i have now flame three bane of Athropod, sharpness two wait can i do this on like my armor and stuff actually yeah i'll make an iron helmet and just try it out so let's just spam shift oh i think it's also giving me xp orbs so i can probably like combine other items together like my crossbows or whatever riptide thorns fire aspect knockback sharpness one dude i'm getting random enchants on any item i want this is actually crazy i don't even have protection on my helmet yet uh we have sharp four though so that's fun oh i see ender pearls there is a lot of ender pearls 12 already that actually might be enough and there's even more gold blocks down here that i haven't even checked yet oh my look how many spectral arrows i have this is actually crazy okay 16 pearls even more than 16 actually okay okay well we're just gonna go back to the overworld now let's just like go ahead and um build a portal right here and now if i just fly into the sky switch to a lapis elytra and then hold my iron pickaxe and just spam shift all right we're gonna do it as much as i can dude look at my hand look how much i'm shifting right now no i'm gonna go into the wall okay we're fine okay we're gonna keep shifting and what do I have now? There are so many enchants that I can't even see it. I see efficiency two on breaking three. Dude, I need more. Keep shifting, keep shifting, keep shifting. Depth Strider six, sharpness 10, looting six, efficiency four, I'm breaking six. Dude, how do I still not have efficiency six? That's what we need to insta break stone. So we're gonna keep going. Yes, efficiency seven, I'm breaking seven. Okay. Oh yeah, because of the like ability on the lapis elytra that gives me things. Anything that has mending, I can repair. So that's actually OP. All right, let's just go down to the bottom of this this and now take a look at this dude all oh, this deep slate below me though i can't go that deep down but i definitely should be able to find diamonds eventually so let's just keep digging as much as i can until i find stuff oh dude look i'm literally repairing my pickaxe Oh, I found a mob spawner, dude. Wait, can't I just one-tap everything with this pickaxe? Holy. Eat some enchanted bread, just the most nutritious Minecraft food, and then attack with my pickaxe. Holy, dude, this is just so crazy. And we have a golden apple. I'll take the gunpowder, actually, because I still haven't made my firework rockets. I think I actually need to be able to insta-mine deep slate because that's where all the diamonds are. So let me just, like, start flying again and just keep spamming this until I get efficiency, like, eight or nine. This is such a weird way to play Minecraft. Just spam spamming my shift and fly key. Efficiency 10, come on. Yes, okay, it finally breaks. Let's go. Now I'm actually at Y11. We should be able to actually find diamonds. So let's just go. Dude, Deep Slate is so satisfying to insta mine. Like, listen to this. Oh, yes, I found diamonds. Let's go. The thing is, I only have a silk touch pickaxe, so I can't even actually, like, get these diamonds yet. We have to go to surface. To be fair, all I need is four more diamond ores, so let's just get one more vein and then go up to surface. And more diamonds. Let's go. How many is this? Well, that was a seven vein. Okay, so we have enough to make our diamond elytra, which is definitely good. Oh, and I also have enough for a diamond pickaxe, too, so we're just gonna dig up to surface now, and once I get wood for a crafting table, we can make our diamond elytra. And we are up, so let's just go ahead and grab some wood. There we go. Make another elytra, and then if if I just make an iron pickaxe, wait, should I just like try and give it fortune? I feel like this could backfire if I get silk touch, but we're gonna try, okay. Anything, come on. Yo, fortune too. Okay, we can get so many diamonds right now. I'm being attacked by mobs, so we're just gonna fly away really quickly, and then I can mine all of this diamond ore, and we can hopefully get enough to make a pickaxe, some armor, and also the diamond elytra, okay. Dude, 15 so far, 16, 17, 20, 22 diamonds. Okay, that is actually amazing. Elytra goes here and surround it with diamonds, and there we go. We can now craft the OP Diamond Elytra. Ability 1, Diamond Item. Ability 2, Diamond Luck. Okay. I'm guessing it's going to be similar to the gold item where I get diamond armors. So that's going to be really good. Uh, let's like fly down to this village and start just doing this and seeing what items I get. I'm seeing a bunch of like different materials. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, we can get emeralds. We can get diamonds. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm not sure if I can get netherite. Wait, I have a potion effect right now that's green. Oh wait, that's the diamond luck thing. Okay. How can I like test my luck? It's either going to be with trades or with like mining ores or something. Oh, and there's a cave right here. So if I just jump down and oh my dude. Okay, that almost went really bad. Oh, uh, let's mine this iron ore. Dude, enchantment table. 
What is this? 64 golden carrots and an enchantment table. Well, I'm guessing OP items now drop. I see netherite. I literally see netherite, dude. 29 chorus fruit, 14 golden apples. Okay, I don't even know what to throw out at this point. Raw gold, I guess. Uh, We have a diamond helmet now. Diamond chest plate, netherite ingot. Okay, if I can somehow get four netherite ingots from just mining ores, that would be so good. Dude, another like bastion loot chest. Three netherite ingots. Literally one more and I'll have enough to make the dragon elytra. Oh, dude, no. Not chapel as well, and enchanted armor. This is actually crazy. I actually have too many items right now. Diamond boots with curse of binding. I don't really want that. The chorus fruit could be kind of good, but I'm probably just gonna leave it since I already have like so much food. Even more diamonds and five netherite ingots. I have no idea when I got that, but we do have five now. If I can somehow get two more netherite ingots, then that would mean that I'm three-fourths netherite with a dragon elytra for the end fight. So yeah, not gonna lie, that would be pretty good. I have six. Okay, literally one more. Come on, dude. Final netherite ingot, please. Oh, I see it. I got it. Do not burn. Okay, there we go. Seven netherite ingots. That is not overkill at all. And then we're just gonna use our TNT elytra to just jump straight out. Okay, now I just gotta get some wood and make myself a smithing table. And then I should be able to get three-fourths netherite. Dude, imagine if I could upgrade the diamond elytra into a netherite elytra. Netherite helmet, there we go. I mean, I could test it out, but I doubt it's gonna... Yeah, it doesn't work. Okay, diamond boots, there we go. Upgrade these into netherite. And then we have our four spare to craft the dragon elytra. Now, the other item that I need for the dragon elytra is endstone. And obviously I can only get that by going to the end, so... Oh yeah, dude, I forgot about blaze rods. Um, okay. I mean, to be fair, I can just build a portal right now and go to the nether and, like, grab the rods, so... I think the fortress is, yeah, right here, okay. We're just gonna TNT jump up, and I think, yeah, there's a spawner right here, okay. I wonder if any of my elytras would be good for killing blazes. I need to be careful, though. I'm only on three hearts. I see a blaze rod on the ground as well, and there we go. I think I got three for three right there. Yeah, we have six, okay. And there we go, seven blaze rods, okay. And if I just go, like, just to this kind of area here and then build my portal. We should be within range of the stronghold, so that's a kind of good idea. Go away, baby hoglin. And there we go. Okay, we are back. Let's go ahead and make ourselves eight eyes of ender and throw one of these. And then if I just fly towards this and start wearing my gold elytra, then I can probably find the stronghold just exactly, which is going to be so good. So let's just like switch midair to the gold elytra. Oh wait, no, I have to be on the ground to use it. Okay, well, I'm just going to fly like maybe... Oh, I'll just fly to this. Ruin portal right here with obsidian, which I don't really need, but I'll take it anyway. And oh, phantoms. Yes, perfect. Come on, just one more phantom membrane. There we go. That's literally it. More chickens as well. There we go. I just need like, what, one more feather until I can make the final elytra. There we go. Oh, and it says village located. I can literally see it. It's just right there. To be fair, I don't really need anything from the village, so I can just like make my elytra and see where the ender eye takes me. It's like completely changed direction. Okay, so it's definitely going to be close by, I think. So if I just shift right here, there we go. Stronghold located 107 blocks away. And if I run forward, it's getting less. And if I run to the left, it's also getting less. So I think it should just be somewhere like really close. 50 blocks away, 43 blocks away. I think I'm like right above it. Maybe it's kind of just going up. If I throw an eye here, does it go? It goes left. 39 blocks away, 35 blocks away. Oh yes, dude. It's getting even less. 12 blocks away, 10 blocks away, 9 blocks away. Okay, I think it's just this one, right? Yup. Okay, it's literally right down here. Now, if I just dig straight down here, we should get into the stronghold. Let's go. It looks like a really small stronghold as well, because like it only goes one way. So I think the portal room should be... Dude, literally right here. Dude, I can't wait to test out this elytra. This is going to be crazy. Okay, we have four netherite ingots. Literally, all I need to complete my recipe is four endstone. There's two eyes in here. No, wait, lava walker just got rid of the lava. Okay, I got to be quick. The silverfish are literally spawning everywhere. Okay, this goes here and we are in. One, two, three, four endstone. And I think the recipe looks like this. So elytra goes in the middle and there we go. Dragon Elytra. Ability 1, Dragon's Breath. Ability 2, Light Pearl. Okay. I'm guessing it lets me shoot the actual Dragon's Breath. So what I'm going to do right now is first of all, just check out the texture. Holy dude. What does this do? Oh no, it threw an Ender Pearl. It's fine though. It's probably fine. But dude, this is definitely the coolest looking Elytra. Like look at those wings. Okay. Now we just TNT jump. Oh my. Okay. And now we put on the Dragon Elytra. Go into flying mode. And can I shoot out the drop? Holy dude, look at this. Dude, I just had the best idea ever. I can literally drop TNT on all of the crystals. This is actually insane. Okay, so the light pearl thing throws an ender pearl, but doesn't deal any damage. That is actually so cool. Okay, we're gonna drop TNT on the dragon's head. Oh no, dude, I almost died right there. Okay, that's gonna do some damage, surely. 
Holy dude, it's on it's literally so low after that. Okay, blaze elytra. Can I shoot a fireball at the crystal? Is that gonna like oh dude, it actually breaks the crystals? That is actually amazing. Holy. I'm actually just gonna eat my notch apple so I don't have to worry about health because like that's just so good. Dude, oh my look how much armor the dragon elytra gives me. That is actually insane. This enderman just doesn't even deal any damage. Like it gives plus eight armor bars. Also, the dragon's back down. Okay, okay, it's time to bomb the crystals. Let's go. Oh my TNT is on top of both of them, literally. That is actually the best strat. Another crystal up here. We're going to use the blaze elytra for this one. Let's just go ahead and switch and shoot a fireball. There we go. Is that all of them? Man, I wanted to break more. That was fun. Okay, and now we're just going to like bully these endermen by just dropping tons and tons of dragon's breath because it definitely deals damage to them. Or at least they teleport around. And now because I've actually like broken all of the crystals, I'm just going to follow around the dragon with my multi-shot bow and uh, get some good hits here. Oh, it's perching. Okay, I have a different plan for the dragon perch this time. So we're just going to drop as much TNT as possible on its head. There we go and that should be enough to kill it maybe let's see oh my dude look how much damage and i got launched again which the dragon thinks is a good attack but i just dropped even more tnt on its head holy dude it's on half health let's go look at this army of endermen that are after me they just can't even catch me dude i'm just gonna spam cobwebs so these endermen just keep getting stuck because like they're kind of getting on my nerves loki and now i'm just gonna spider hack up the wall let's go okay light pearl up onto this Switch to the TNT Elytra, and we are. Oh, this is so good, dude. This is definitely the most fun video I've ever recorded. Like, these Elytras are just crazy to use. Okay, the dragon's punching again. Let's, like, pre-fire all of this TNT so that the dragon just can't even escape this time. Oh my, look how much damage that dealt. I might even be able to get another round. Come on, come on. Yes, TNT rain. Let's go. Okay, and my final plan is just to enchant my axe with, like, sharpness 10 and get some axe crits on the dragon because I still have my Lapis Elytra, so I'm just gonna keep enchanting. What do we have right now? Shop 4. Okay. Okay, come here, dragon. I have enchanted my axe like a trillion times. Now we're just gonna get some hits. Holy dude, what is on this axe? That is actually crazy. No, it's gone away. Okay, we have to finish the dragon in the coolest way. We're gonna launch with the TNT elytra, chase it down with the dragon elytra, charge up our crossbow, get a shot like this, and then come here, come here, come on. Oh yes, it's perching, okay. Oh, wait, what? I killed it with thorns. <laughs> well, I mean, that wasn't what I intended, but I will still take it, okay? Anyway, there you guys go. That was Minecraft, but there are custom elytras. I'm also going to be releasing a Patreon very soon, which will give you guys access to all of the mods that I use in my videos, because obviously these are all custom coded. This one is just too fun to play with to not release. Like, it's actually crazy. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all later. Peace.